Now for this part of the question then, we're given this parametric equation for a curve C. And we're told that x equals sine squared t and y equals 2 tan t for t greater than or equal to 0 but less than pi upon 2. And so what we've got to do is find the gradient function dy by dx. So how do we do that in terms of t? Well, you've got to use the chain rule. In other words, essentially what we're going to be heading towards is that dy by dx is equal to dy by dt multiplied by dt by dx. It's as if these dt's cancel and we're just left with dy over dx. So the chain rule. So that's essentially where we're heading and to do this then we've got to find out dy by d t first of all and then instead of dt dx we need to find dx by dt and then we can do the reciprocal of it. So for the first part here x equals sine squared t we can think of this as sine t all squared and to differentiate this with respect to t we need to use the chain rule. So if we use that and I'm assuming that you're familiar with that dx by dt would be equal to 2 times sine t to the power 1, in other words just 2 sine t, and then we multiply this by the differential of sine t, which is cos t. So dx dt then is 2 sine t cos t. When it comes to dy by dt, we have dy by dt equals, and this is fairly straightforward, you should get 2 sec squared t, 2 sec squared t. Now that means that therefore by using the chain rule dy by dx is going to equal dy by dt then which is 2 sec squared t multiplied by dt dx and so we need to take the reciprocal of this so in other words dt by dx is going to be 1 divided by 2 sine t cos t and what we've got here is these two twos cancel one another out and sec squared t is the same as 1 over cos squared t and we've got to multiply that then with 1 all over sine t cos t and so finally what we get is 1 on the top all over sine t times cos cubed t so sine t cos cubed t and there you go that's dy by dx then